Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. If you're thinking Destination Marathon, this is the place to come. We're in St. John, New Brunswick, and this is a really busy harbor on a beautiful day. And believe it or not, it's September. And with me is on my left uh, the race director, whose name is Patrick Gannon. Patrick, thank you for hosting us at such a beautiful city. Oh, thank you for coming to St. John. We're really glad you came here today. We are too. And over here is his colleague, um, Officer John Brom. And uh, you're, you're the one who kind of keeps Patrick in line, aren't you? That's right. I make sure that he does what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Well, one of the things I heard is that um, the Marathon by the Sea, which was held in August, has a new course, and the police are very happy with it. Why would that be? We're not happy with it? Are happy with it. Oh, um, from a police standpoint, um, the new course is much easier to um, maintain, or not so much maintain, but traffic-wise and safety-wise, it's, it's much better. Because the, the intersections are easier to look after, and the, and the runners are they're they're not like in, in previous races the runners were zigzagging, you know, and they were going back and forth, and it was getting kind of difficult to uh, try to keep everybody safe. But this one is, is uh, quite well. My name is Mike Doyle. I'm the founder of the Marathon by the Sea and committee member for the last three or four years. Uh, what you're seeing here is uh, we're at mile mile three of the Marathon by the Sea and as you look over there you'll see that the, the course actually encompasses uh, the harbor of St. John. Plenty of water views, plenty of uh, visuals along the way, lots of history in the city of St. John. You go all the way out from mile six straight out uh, along the water and then on the way back you veer to the left and you come back through the north end of the city which is rich in heritage back to the, uh, the headquarters which is uh, Rockwood Park. Uh, the newest jewel in the crown for uh, the city of St. John. It's uh, hundreds of acres of natural parkland, uh, and that's where the actual start-finish area is. Uh, the downtown area is actually filled with people during race day coming out to watch and cheer. So there's all and there's all all, all kinds of things to do during during the race. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the one to do if you're coming to the Maritimes in August. So Patrick, I understand the race is now in its 16th year and it's a very successful race. What are some of the things about the course that you think runners will most be interested in? Um, pr primarily the scenery. We got be beautiful scenic views of the city that overlook the Bay of Funday. Uh, we go through a lot of historic streets in St. John um, and the people in St. John. We're a very friendly city and it's a cool place to run. The weather's cool and uh, just an enjoyable place to run. We think we have right, just the right amount of people and uh, it's just a fun city to be in if you're looking for a summer destination. Well, you know, I was kind of looking at the race course and it's kind of hard to tell, but typically if you're by the water, you're going to see a flat course, but this would not be the case here, would it? Um, no, it's uh, some people call it just a little bit hilly, but it's enjoyable hilly. It's uh, the views kind of take you away from the hills, and you get a chance to uh, see all the historical sp uh, places in St. John. Um, but that's one thing we tried to work on this year with the new course as well. We we try to make it a flatter course, and I think we primarily have done that. I understand the runners have had a lot to do with uh, making suggestions about how the course should go and that kind of thing. So you're really a very runner-friendly race. Yes, we are. Um, at the start of this year, we knew we had to have a new course. So we invited the running community to come together and help us design a new course. And so that's what we did. And we had um, runners, all different levels, came together. And we finally came together with a course that everybody seemed to like. It was a good compromise. And uh, everybody was happy at the end of the day. So typically, in August, what kind of weather would runners expect? Usually, it'd be fairly mild, but we start the race at 8 o'clock in the morning, and normally at that time of day, most most years, um, it's quite comfortable temperature for running. Um, this year was an exception, it was a little bit warmer, but uh, having the start time at 8 o'clock in the morning is, is usually you're, we're, we're finished before the heavy heat. And this year, I was actually a little bit on the cool side when we ran the uh, did the run. 
Well, that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's good when you're running, but then when you're all done, you're watching the uh, the rest of the competitors coming in. You're standing there, and then and, and uh, you're, you're 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 still heated up from the race, but then you start to cool down quite quickly. But it was it was quite enjoyable. Well, Patrick, for people who might not be quite up to a uh, full marathon distance, what other distances do you have for them? Oh, we have a half marathon, we have a five miler, and the day before the race we have a kids, kids have a hustle run, which is 200 meters and a 2K race. And you also um, have uh, some Nordic walkers, oh, yes, don't you? Nordic walkers, yes. We're one of the few marathons in Canada that recognize Nordic walking. They have their own division, and it's, uh, it's been quite successful so far. And there are festivals too. You usually have a festival going on at the same time. Yes, we always try to try the event in with the festival, so we try to make it a weekend destination for people. So when they come to St. John, um, this past year we partnered with St. John 225. St. John was a cultural capital of Canada this year, so they had a big outdoor concert the day before and they had events going on um, the entire weekend. And actually they provided all the live entertainment for our run this year. Festivals, architecture, shops, and scenery that you won't believe it's time to come to the Marathon by the Sea in St. John, New Brunswick.